guys, Ashley Anderson here. Today I want to show you my introduction or kind of starting page for my December Daily Album plus my story for day one. So for the introduction page, I actually just did the texture page so it's still drying. So it's not finished just yet, but here shortly I will show you how I did this and we'll finish this out together. I'll put the holes in it and I have a few more embellishments I'm going to add to it, but this will set in my album in front of this page. So you can still kind of see through to the um, day one behind it, but it kind of hides it, which I really, really like. I had a different page I had originally made, but I didn't like it. It just, I mean, it looked cute on the front, but because it was vellum and you could see through it and I didn't have the right kind of adhesive, the back of it looked really super wonky. So I ended up changing it and I'm glad that I did because I really, really like this page. I was looking for some glitter because I wanted to put some glitter on here and some of the stars didn't turn out very good as you can see, but that's okay. But um, I didn't have any glitter, so we're just gonna leave it as is. And then I have, like I said, I have a few more embellishments that we'll add. And I may go back over these with red paint because obviously we're mixing red with the white paste. This is the paste that I used. It was a dimensional effects paintable texture paste. It's white, so whenever I mixed the red paint with it, it lightened it up. I tried to add more paint to it to make it more red, but I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes once it's dry, but if it's not as red as I want it to be, I will just paint over top of this. So we'll come back to this here in just a few. I'll just set it to the side. All right, and then for day one, what I did is I took um, my album that I'm using is a six by eight. It's the red six by eight album from Allie Edwards. I really like this album. And I cut a, uh, or I printed a photo of me, my son, and my husband standing in front of our Christmas tree cut it down to size, stuck it in here, and I did the same thing on the back, except we're not standing in front of the Christmas tree. But I stuck that there, and then I took some of these little embellishments and I stuck them in there to make like a shaker pocket. So those would go all over the place. And then I took my fuse tool. This is from We Are Memory Keepers. It was my first time using it. It took me a hot minute to figure it out. Um, I actually watched a YouTube video because it wasn't fusing right. Like it wasn't, the pages weren't sticking together but I realized I had to let it heat up for a good five minutes before it would actually work. Um, but you guys can see here, it's all stuck together. So it's not gonna come open. None of those little sequences are gonna fall out of there. It's all inside of there. Now there's no journaling for day one, but I really just wanted to start this out with a photo of us. And I was gonna do a bucket list on the back, but I decided not to. I like having this other photo there. But on the front I have this, chipboard number one. I have some chipboard stars up here and then these are on the outside of it. And then on the back, I have some stars and a couple little stickers. And for the glue, I used ac uh, glossy accents and I used this to adhere those down. The stars had some sticky adhesive on them already, but I went ahead and added a little bit of glossy accents just to make sure that they were going to stay stay on there. So that's going to be day one. I really like the way it turned out. I love this black and white photo with the red and the silver sequences in there. I also have a few silver stars that I stuck inside of there. Oh, that didn't help. They didn't come out of there. Get out of that corner. Okay, they're stuck down in there, but that's okay. But I just like this shaker idea. I thought it was super cute. Um, so that's gonna be day one. And then uh, let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys how I did the star page and then we'll finish it together. I started out with a piece of vellum that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. It's got all of these cute little foil stars on there. I really love it. thought it was super cute. So I started out with that. I cut it down to size. Initially cut the darn thing completely wrong. <laughs> I'm using a 6x8 album and I cut it 6x8 without accounting for enough space to have the holes punched. So luckily, whenever I picked up the vellum sheet, I picked up a couple extra ones, so I ended up pulling out a second one that I had, and I cut it correctly with using one of the plastic um, page protectors as a guide <laughs> to make sure I had enough space. So just a quick tip, if you go to cut it, make sure you account for um, being able to punch holes so it'll go into your album, whatever size album that you have. So here's where I'm using the guide to... Uh, to cut that down correctly so it actually fits inside of my album. 
And then I got some star stencils off of Amazon. I'll have those linked down below as well. But I have these star stencils and then I showed you the texture paste earlier that I'm going to be using. So I have this like little putty knife type deal and I'm going to start using it to randomly put these stars on there. Um, I initially was just going to do a bunch of white stars on top of there. The white ones are kind of hard to see on vellum. But I was thinking what would be super cute if you didn't have vellum if you got a sheet of acetate because it's clear, it's like a hard plastic, not super hard, but it's flexible, but it's like plastic and that would be super cute with the white stars on a piece of acetate. But I took the texturizing paste and I just sort of randomly putting it over the stars. Some of them are thicker, some of them are thinner, that's kind of what I was going for. You know, some of them are not perfect, some of them didn't turn out okay and that's totally fine. I wasn't trying to make this like perfect, I just wanted to kind of play with some textures and add those to the star page. And then here in a second, I mix the texture paste with some paint. So the one that I have is one that you can paint and you can, uh, well, you can mix the paints in there with it. So if that's something that you wanna do, make sure whenever you get texture paste that it is compatible with paint. I don't, I mean, there might be some that isn't, uh, I don't really know for sure. I just noticed that this one said that it's compatible. So I was like, good, that's awesome. I can paint it if I want to. So I used the bigger, the star stencils that I got, there was a three pack. So there's one that's like, I don't know, it's huge. And then there's a medium one and a smaller set of stencils. So started out with the medium set of star stencils, stuck a few of those on there. And then here is where I start mixing the texturizing paste with the ink or with the paint. So. I was going for red and obviously when you mix anything with white it lightens that color up. So I added a little bit of paint to start with. As I started mixing it, it turned kind of like a light pink, not light pink, but like a reddish pink. So then I added a little bit more of that red ink to it. It turned out okay. It's not the bright red that I was going for, but it's also not pink. It's like somewhere in between. So I think it turned out okay. Probably could have added a few more of those red stars on there because I didn't add a ton of them, but make sure whenever you mix this, you get all the chunks mixed up. So that way there's not like whenever you go to spread it, there's not like red and white mixture, which actually might be cute. That might be a look that you're going for. That would be um, something you could try out too. You could always try it out on a sheet of card or uh, like printer paper, scrap paper, we all have trash cans full of scrap paper in our, in our craft rooms, right? So if you want to try it out and see what it would look like, definitely, uh, definitely give that a go. And baby wipes or paper towels are definitely going to be your friend here. I always keep a pack of baby wipes in my craft room so I can use them when I'm painting, when I'm using any type of mixed media, um, when I'm stamping and things like that. So get you something so you can wipe everything off. And then I also had a um, baking pan from my kitchen in here and I had laid once I was finished, I set everything inside of that. And then that way nothing got tipped over or, or got onto anything or whatever while the vellum sheet was drying. So that's another tip I learned a long time ago. Grab a baking dish. Those things are super easy to clean. Um, many of us probably have some too that's that we don't use very often. So that would actually be something you just keep in, in your craft room with your craft supplies. And later we warm up by the fireplace Carolers are singing outside our door Lovely songs we all heard before As they walk from house to house To wish us all a Merry Christmas Day Merry Christmas Day 
I knew I also wanted to add some different types of stars, some other embellishments to this page. So I have a little container that's got some of my De December daily stuff organized out in there and I have two little sections of stars. So I started to pull out some of these stars, trying to see which ones I liked, which ones I didn't. Some of them were way too large. Some of them, um, like the gold one, it just didn't match. It wasn't the vibe I was going for. I wish I would have had some more red ones, but I didn't. So I did choose to go with a couple of green ones, but it was just a matter of trying to lay them out on the page and see which ones I liked, what was gonna work where, and then go from there. In one of the kits I got from Allie Edwards, there are some chipboard stars that have an adhesive backing on them and they're white. And I really love those. So I took two of them. One went on the front of the sheet of vellum and then one went on the back and I lined them up. And I did use a little bit of glossy accents to stick those, make sure that they were like really, really stuck together. Um, just to kind of create like a little stick out of the star. And then you can use it as like a tab to get a hold of the vellum to flip the page over. You stole my heart, what is it that you do? And then this purple thing, I think it's called a Zion cut, uh, sticker maker. I got it off Amazon, highly recommend it, especially when you're working with like vellum. Because if you use like, um, say you have just a double-sided tape or something and you put it on there, if you stick it on vellum and that tape isn't even across the entire surface, it's gonna look really crappy on the back side of the vellum. So the Zyron sticker maker, it only makes like small stickers, unfortunately, it's not gonna make anything large, but you run it through there and it'll put adhesive evenly over the back of whatever you're using. So in this case, it put adhesive over the back of the star. This, this star specifically was a little bit too big, so one side did get a little bit bent and it also did not get fully covered with the adhesive, but for the most part it got covered except for that one little point. And then I just took my bone folder there and kind of flattened it out some, worked out great. But I do recommend it and I will have it linked down below as well. The only downside to it is that um, it, I feel like you kind of waste some of it. I tried to reuse the little extra pieces that I had cut, but I had did it completely wrong. I think I had to I don't know how it, how that little thing works inside of there, but whatever. I couldn't figure out how to use it, so I ended up throwing the little scraps away because I thought I would be able to use those on some smaller stars. So once I got these two green stars down, I will put a, I think a red star down that's got polka dots on it, and then a few more of those white chipboard stars that come in one of the kits I had got. I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you. here's the finished product I absolutely love the way that this turned out so much more than the original kind of like opening page that I had inside of here I love that you can 
kind of see like a hint of day one behind there. Not, you know, you're like not really sure what's going on and it just makes you excited to turn that page. I love the textures. I love the white and the red and the green all mixed together with that like frosty vellum sheet. I just think it turned out so cute. And here I'm showing you the back of it. So with that sticker maker, the back of it doesn't look really wonky. It looks really, really good. And then here's day one. This is the photo that was hiding behind that sheet of vellum. Again, I just love it. I love the way that it turned out. I'm so glad I redid that page. And I'm so glad I tried this little idea I had in my head. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.